हेलो वेलकम टू द क्लास माय नेम इज पार्थो मजुमदार without any further delay let's get started first activity that we need to perform is to fetch the tweets that is to fetch the data from twitter however before we can fetch data from twitter we need to create a developer account on twitter now we can fetch data from twitter even without having a developer account however if you are interested in making an application which will be used by many people then a developer account on twitter is absolutely mandatory so the first thing we do is go through the steps required for creating a developer account so once you have the account then you can proceed with the rest of the course where you can see how to fetch tweets having the account or account from twitter so now we go through the process of how to create the twitter developer account now i had two options either i could have shown you a demo or i could have shown you the slide show where i will take you step by step I am choosing to show you the slide show basically because if I show the demo I could compromise some of my confidential information so we will go through the slide show for how to create the twitter developer account the first step is that open any browser and enter this url that is developer.twitter.com when you enter this url you should get a page like this now when you get this page look for the sign in button so click on the sign in button and you should be asked to log into twitter so i hope you have a twitter account because that is required so enter the twitter account details give your account id or phone number or email and give the password and then if you have two factor authentication like i do you will be asked for the two factor authentication provide that and once you provide that you will be logged into twitter but this is the twitter main page this is not what we want so once you get this open a new tab on your browser and enter the same url that i provided you earlier that is developer.twitter.com once you do that this time you should get the page like this and look for the developer tools which is under the developer drop down in the developer tools look for your account name so click on that once you click on that you should get a page like this here look for apps here look for apps click on apps once you click on apps you should get a page like this your page will most probably be empty if you don't have a app already i presume that because you you are creating your twitter account for the first time now when you come to this page look for this button called create an app click that once you click that you should get a page like this where you have to fill in some details so the first detail you have to fill is what is your app name so provide a app name this is required then provide a description for what this app will do scroll down then you have to provide a website url that is a url of the website which will make use of this particular app so please provide that once you provide that next it will ask you for the callback url in the callback url put http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 1410 you have to put this exactly the same way then the remaining three fields are optional you may provide them or you may not provide them for the scrolling down you have to provide the website url of your organization and then comes the most important part you have, to, you have to provide a justification for why do you want to create this app this justification is read by twitter and based on whether they like the justification or not they will grant you the permission so make a justification which is 
solid so that your request is not overruled. Once you have filled all this, then create button has to be clicked. Click on create. Once you click on create, you will be asked to sign a terms and conditions. So once you have read that, click on create and your application will be submitted for creation. It generally takes between 3 days to 10 days before Twitter approves or disapproves the application. In between these 3 to 10 days, there will be number of email exchanged between Twitter administrators and yourself, where they will ask for various justifications etc. which you need to provide. Once your application is approved, you should, when you log into Twitter developer account, you should get a page like this. Like I have one application at this point of time. So now, once you have the application, click on the details button to see, to see what the application details are. So you should see whatever you have filled in. Here, the important thing what we are looking for is the keys and tokens. So click on that tab. When you click on keys and tokens, we are looking for four information. The first two information we are looking for is the API key and the API secret key. Please make a note of this and store it somewhere safe on your machine. Then scroll down, you will come across another two things called API token and API token secret. These two information is also very important. So store them and we will see how to use this four information when we are fetching tweets from Twitter using the R programming.